Hello and welcome to the Polymaker Print Lab. Today I'm going to run through a quick tutorial on how to make beautiful lithopanes like these ones here using some LEDs that we can steal from a cheap component and repurpose them into a 3D printed light box. Through all my years of working in 3D printing there have been a lot of 3D printed gifts given to family and friends and uh, lithopanes have by far received the best reaction. Everyone who's received one is blown away by the quality, the tangible aspect of having a snapshot of life captured into a physical 3D object. In this tutorial, I'm gonna run through the key steps to consider when creating custom lithopanes and get perfect results straight away. I found these rechargeable lights that are clap and tap activated and give a suitable amount of light, which I think should be good enough for the light box. I picked them up from my local home store for just under four euros a piece. Let's open them up and have a look inside and see what we're working with. So inside we can see there's a small PCB board with seven LEDs. Underneath we have a cell and underneath the cell we have another small PCB which has a charging port, the on off switch and the little pressure sensor device which is cycling through the light intensity. I've taken some measurements from the PCB board and can start designing a nice curved box frame to house everything. I've chosen to create a curved box for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the lithopane will print better on a curve, so it will have more structure when printing. Secondly, it gives more depth to the piece with the lights placed centrally inside the box. I'll reuse the silicon on-off switch from the original light and mount that underneath with access to the charging port from behind. There are a few good websites out there for creating lithopanes from 2D images. I have tried a couple and I like 3dp.rocks forward slash lithopane the best and I'll be using that website for this tutorial, link in the description below. I have run quite a lot of tests playing around with the settings trying thicker maximums and thinner minimums but I finally settled on what I believe are the best settings for the lights that I have. This process of creating lithopanes from 2D images works by turning the uploaded image into grayscale and then the light parts are printed thinner, allowing more light to pass through and the dark parts are printed thicker, blocking the amount of light which can pass. This website allows you to choose the minimum and maximum thicknesses and all values in between will serve as the grayscale. As I'll be printing with a 0.4 mm nozzle, I have set the minimum thickness to 0.8 mm so that two perimeters make up the lightest, thinnest parts. I've played around with having a single shell extrusion and also thicker maximums, but finally I think that with the lights I have, a maximum of two millimeters works best and a minimum of 0.8 mm provides enough range in the grayscale to provide a clean, even image. For the other model settings, I've chosen a max size of 150 millimeters, a border of four millimeters and maxed out the vectors per pixel to 10 for the best quality and leaving the curve and base at zero. For the image settings, the most important parameter is to set your image to positive. This way the lights will be thin and the darks will be thicker and not vice versa. It's also worth mentioning that the ratio of the image will change the height of the lithopane. So to keep everything the same, I cropped all my images to a ratio of two to three and tried to keep the image size under one megabyte as the website is crashing when the picture size is too large. Slicing your lithopanes will be the deciding factor on a clear, well-defined image. I will be using Simplify 3D, but all these settings can transfer across to your favorite slicer. When slicing lithopanes, I would err on the side of under extrusion as any over extrusion is likely to leave little blobs or deform the image. As the grayscale between the thicknesses of the minimum and the maximum is very important, I think that a little less plastic is better than a little more. So important print settings to remember. Extrusion multiplier 0.9 or 90%, extrusion width set to 0.4 to match the nozzle size exactly, a layer height of 0.15 millimeters and perimeters set to three and infill set to zero. This should make the lithopane print solid but avoid any jerky infill movements which might spoil the crispness of the image. Choosing a good material for creating lithopanes is a critical factor in the final result. I have chosen Polyterra PLA in white as the matte surface finish hides all the layer lines and the superb printing quality delivers a very clear image. I've printed the exact same lithopane in Polylite PLA, a material which also has great printing quality, but as you can see, the slightly glossy surface of the Polylite PLA is no comparison to the ultra matte Polyterra PLA. 
I've also chosen some of the wonderful colours available for Polyterra to print the light boxes. Here we have mint, sunrise orange, arctic teal and a few other colours. With a print speed of 60mm per second, you can print lithopanes like these in just 4 hours, and the final weight is only 28 grams, which means you can print 35 lithopanes from one spool of Polyterra, amounting to a part cost of just 57 cents per lithopane. With a frame weight of 140 grams and a 4 euro light, the total cost of one light box is just over 7 euros, and 50% of that is the light. To assemble the light box, we can reuse the screws taken from the original light box, reuse the silicon on off button, and secure all the boards down to the 3D printed light box. And then voila, we have a custom clap activated battery powered light box for under 10 bucks. I think one of the best aspects of 3D printing in general is the ability to customize and create one off objects, and lithopanes are a fine example. We can transform the shape of cheap materials and add immense value to an object that is going to score some serious brownie points with that special someone. If you have a 3D printer, you'll be able to impress all your friends and family with a super nice, customized gift with very little investment. I call that a win-win. I will make all the files available for the light box free for download, however sourcing the exact same light as me may be tricky wherever you're located. I would encourage you to have a go at designing your own light box as these lights are widely available and cheap to purchase. Inside you'll find all the usual bits and bobs which can be repurposed and mounted inside a 3D printed light box. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe there's a birthday looming for that special someone for which a 3D printed light box would be the perfect gift.